Hi. Today I will show you how to create a standalone application in Smalltalk, in particular in, Sw in Squeak. Uh, the procedure should not be very different if you do it in other Smalltalk implementations. So, the idea is that uh, you prepare, we will prepare a very simple application, like the classic Hello World application, then from this application we will remove all the development environment all, all, all what we can remove and then we will save the image after saving the image we will move the uh, that image file to another operating system in particular to to a mac macos and we will run the image on the macos operating system finally we will show that it is possible to run the same image also on the web under certain conditions. So let's start. So we are running now on a Unix system. In particular, this is a FreeBSD, and the Squeak is running in a Linux emulation layer. So for us, what matters is that we are in Unix, let's say. So let's build our very easy application that will be a string. Okay. There will be a button. Okay, let's move the string near the button. And when we click the button the string rotates okay so this will be our hello world application enough so let's ignore this line let's start from here so the thing now is that um, we need to remove all these tools like the toolbar the flaps etc etc we will start removing them one by one so this one will remove the toolbar but before removing the toolbar it's better we quit from full screen okay out flaps out okay now I will remove the possibility of the user uh, to call a debug. That is, when you press Alt dot, you you can usually call a debug. So let's run this. Now you can't call the debugger anymore. Don't warn if you don't find the source file. We we don't want to send also the source file. Don't don't warn me if you don't find the change file because we don't want to send the change file now I open a browser I open a browser because we need to do a few modification directly in the code okay so open a browser I go to see my notes here it is so in past tap morph mouse down let's go to find it past tap morph mouse down we insert this thing save good doing this what happened then when I click on the world that is on the gray area I don't want to have the menu popping up okay so this is done then we go to an under error default action default action so the default action 
uh, when there is an error is to open the debugger no uh, we don't want that because if the application goes to a user he would he or she would would not be able to do anything with the debugger it will be only confusing so we don't want that uh, we want the application simply to crash maybe to leave a message in standard output if it's possible so i found that in squeak i need to remove this line and substitute it with this other line Okay, comment, okay, save, control S, good. Enough with the code we have to modify, okay. Now we remove all the hollows, let's see, remember this, out, out, now you see, no hollows. We remove again all the menu we can. This and this. Now we need to do the last steps. We need to remove the workspace. But if I remove the workspace, I will not be able to make basically any change to the image. And this is not good because suppose I made a mistake. So I prefer to save one version of the application like it is now that is with a workspace open so if i need to change something i still can load this file okay so save you see the title changed okay now that i saved i can execute this which uh, disable key disable keyboard shortcuts so at this point we, i will not be able to do control c control v uh, do it print it it will be very difficult to program after this spot okay so do it now save the image with another name You see control d doesn't work anymore so we need to do something different okay you see the title changed good now the last steps you see here close the workspace resize the window and save when it's asked if you want to do so so close the workspace I mistook, yes. your application let's say you want it large like this okay when you run the program so now you are ready to click here save changes yes good now watch we go in download we check that the last file contain app want to share image that is the file that we want to give to the final users and app want to share with workspace not the changes we are interested in this of course the dot image this is the file that we will use if you need to do some changes to the application because it has the workspace open and so it has still possibility to, re to reopen the development environment so let's open a squeak directly on that in my system in user local share squeak there I have the Linux version bin okay here is the squeak program that i want to run directly with what image let's say in download 
app one to share for example with workspace image and it's this one is good it's what we want save now and up one to share dot image okay that is the application that we want to give to the final user so let's only check it works it works I close save changes no good at this point what we need to do is to send the image file to the other operating system and download the appropriate virtual machine in the other operating system so before that we need to do something important we need to check what is the virtual machine that we are using in our development environment now so I go into squeak general that contains whatever file was using I don't care so about squeak and you see here I select image and whom general that is enough to see that I'm using this virtual machine crochet closure cog spur which has been built on October 20 2018 so that is the virtual machine I want October 20 2018 so I copy the image to the Mac operating system in my case I'm in a virtual machine so it's quite fast so copy app1 to share dot image I copy it to the Mac machine of course I call it simply app1 dot image copy it let's go to check okay a finder up one image is here here is our file good to open that file I need an appropriate virtual machine that virtual machine can be found in this website you go well I will show you you go on Google you search for github and then open smalltalk dash vm okay there you want to go here releases and we look for the one built in uh, October this one twenty October two thousand eighteen this is the release we want now we know that our image is 64 bit we know it was a spur and it has to run in macOS so let's go to see what fit best it's of and of course it's a squeak you see we have everything here cox spur macOS sim this one Cogs, poor macOS 64 bit. Okay. I download it. Pam. This is the file. Just download it. Double click. Open the file. This is the virtual machine. I run it. Yes, yes, okay. It asked me what image do I load into the virtual machine? Well load up one dot image. And here it is. Our application. The same identical application I had in Unix. So you may ask yourself why it is um, 
it is so big respect to the one you were seeing before well that's because in unix i had a very high resolution so i saved the system in such a way that the font was very high and the mouse cursor was big it could be changed easily but of course now we cannot change from here because we don't have anything of a development environment you, you can click wherever you want you have nothing to change stuff here and another thing maybe mm, we could remove this message say change before quitting but consider sometimes it may be useful look at the at the string i save now i run the thing again yeah open one image and you see so it may be useful to have the possibility to save in some cases in some other cases no good the last thing we may see is that it is possible to load the same application on the web this is extremely interesting but To do it, we need to go to Squeak.js. Launcher. Okay, here there is a trick that I will not show you. If, if, if I load the image I just prepared, it will not work. In fact, it was this image this image image you can see here it will not work before because i'm working in 64 bits now either in the mac and in the unix the virtual machine to work into switch js it must be 32 bit so if you redo everything what we have done now with a 32 bit development environment you can then take the image as you, as we have done and load the image here you just need to, to drag and drop the file inside this square and then click it and here it is our application now running in the web and of course this is this is extremely interesting and open very opens a lot of possibilities so in conclusion uh, you have seen the procedure to adapt your image to be used by a third party without a lot of development tools that they may be confusing uh, you can of course build your own script to do all this operation automatically but it is useful to understand what you are doing so that maybe there's something you don't want to remove or to do differently and also these things change quite fast in fact there was a package called lockdown by Ned Cons, i think and um, this package uh, was doing basically the same thing i have done maybe more more probably but it doesn't run anymore so and so i prefer to follow this path and show you step by step what i did to have a portable application instead of making a standalone script that then in a few years would be not usable i hope that uh, there is not much to change to have the thing working in faro quiz and other small talks Okay, that's it. That's all. Goodbye.